All right, this is the third and final installment from the Wendy's Pretzel Bacon Pub Series. I went with the spicy chicken. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, this is the final video in the Wendy's Pretzel Bacon Pub Series. I already did the pub fries and I did the uh, burger as well. So now we're going to try out, I believe, is the spicy chicken version of the pretzel uh, bacon pub. But I'm looking at this and I'm not 100% sure if they gave me the home style or the uh, spicy. There it does look kind of spicy. It does have a red tint, but check this out. So you're gonna have the spicy chicken right there, Munster cheese, fried crispy onions, pickles, and there is a uh, beer cheese sauce as well as a smoky honey mustard sauce as well. There's a lot going on right there. And there's applewood smoked bacon. I think I forgot to mention that in the burger one. I remembered it later, threw it in, there's bacon. It's in the name bacon. All right, so one more look. We're going to get uh, into this. I am excited. This was $5.89. The meal, I think, is $8.39. So let's go. Hoping this is the spicy version. They do a grilled version, a spicy version, and the uh, original. What is it? The original? I just said it. Is it the original? Classic? I don't know. No! Home style. Home style. All right, let me show it to you. Upside down, right there. You know how we do upside down the more you turn me inside out and round and round shout out diana ross all right let's go going right into that section right there i've talked enough here we go All right, so in my infinite wisdom, when I was showing you the close-up and explaining what's on it, how did I gloss over the main reason uh, that this exists? That is a pretzel bun. Now you see the uh, pretzel bun right here. I've seen some other reviews and thumbnails where this is uh, definitely more pronounced, more of like an X in the top of the bun that kind of protrudes out uh, with some crevices. Uh, my two have kind of looked like that. It is what it is. It does have the taste. Again, like I said in the burger review, the uh, texture of this is perfect. Perfect uh, vessel to hold a sandwich of this magnitude. But at the same time, I always wonder if it needs a little bit of salt. Two or three sprinkles here to give it the full effect because with everything going on in this burger, uh, the uh, pretzel bun, the flavor of the pretzel gets lost a little bit. But that chewiness and the softness on the inside, perfect. Like I said, perfect vessel. Yeah. Second bite. Yeah. Mm. I like this. Spicy is definitely way to go uh, with this, with the chicken. This seems a little less spicy than some of the other spicy chicken sandwiches I've had in the past at Wendy's. It's there, but it's only like a two, two and a half uh, out of 10 on like a spice meter. But yes, the addition of that spice is exactly what this uh, sandwich needs. I'm gonna go in for the final bite right there, and we are going to give this a rating. I am a fan of the sandwich. I'm a fan of the bun. And I will tell you that smoky honey uh, mustard sauce mixing with that uh, beer cheese sauce, I like it. Gives a nice little flavor profile. Yeah, I said it, last bite. All right, final thought on this. Another reason this works so well, it's the different textures. You get the crispy uh, onions with the pickles, nice little acidity in that second bite uh, with the pickle. Then you're gonna get the outer layer of the uh, fried chicken, and it just kind of works with the softness of the bun as well, and then the flavor of the sauce. This is just a really well-made sandwich, and I'm so happy I went with the uh, spicy version. To me, the uh, home style, boring. Just boring, my opinion, my two cents, chick. All right, let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning 
don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the spicy chicken pretzel bacon pub sandwich, mouthful, a rating of... I like this. I like this. I don't know if I like the burger better. You have to check the scores, but I'm giving this a straight up 90... It's a 94. I'm a huge fan of both of these uh, sandwiches that I've tried. Uh, the pub fries, yeah. You know, if you missed that review, check it out. You'll see why that one fell a little bit short uh, compared to the sandwiches. But uh, there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, here we go. This is what we got. And I will say, there might be one more review. Not from Wendy's, but almost from Wendy's, but not really. What? I'm confusing myself, but stay tuned. There may be something coming down the pike uh, regarding a pretzel bun. I'm just saying. Stay tuned. All right, bonus footage, one last thing, $5.89. Some may say, whoa, that's a little steep, six bucks. But for the size of that and everything you got going on inside that burger and the addition of the exclusive pretzel bun from Wendy's, that is a uh, full stamp of approval by me.